Hi hey guys, this is Faye from Faye's World Media and in this video I want to show you ReCut versus Descript to edit your video, specifically reduce your editing time to a fraction of what you needed before. Now long story short, ReCut is a new tool that I discovered and it's very easy to use. This is not sponsored by either brand. ReCut allows you to basically cut out the silence and you can also change the threshold to, you know, how much room, how much silence you want to leave in your video so that it can sound still very natural. You can trim down the parts you don't want. Long story short, ReCut is extremely fast. Versus Descript, which is a fantastic tool for editing podcasts, I experimented with Descript to see how effective it could be when it comes to video editing because I love the features and things such as reducing silence bits as well as the ums and ahs. And I love how it also improves your sound quality to the studio level sound quality. All that's well and good. But the catch here is that Descript's export is many, many more minutes than ReCut. For ReCut, it literally the export is seconds. So for me, I use a combination of ReCut and Final Cut Pro to edit all my YouTube videos and non-YouTube videos. And then I use a tool such as Descript or Podcast for all my podcast editing needs. So let me go ahead and show you in this video how it works when I just import a raw video from my camera into both ReCut and Descript. So this way you can see everything happening in real time. By the way, I'm only showcasing a very light editing process, nothing fancy, no B-roll, special transitions. I know there's a lot of creators like me out there. You don't have a huge team. Your time and budget are limited. So I hope you find some value in this. Please share with a friend, a colleague. Let me know in the comments below your editing process, how you get to save time and still produce high quality content. I'm gonna show you one of my current favorite apps called ReCut. Really simple one-time payment for only $99, but what's powerful is this is not a subscription. So what I'm gonna do is simply grab a video uh, I recorded to talk about Podia as a learning platform. So right here, as you can see, the original uh, duration is 12.55 and it is now without silence 90 different cuts that has inserted it's going to bring it down by 30 seconds so by manipulating and changing the threshold uh, such as minimum duration padding uh, remove blips uh, I am able to just see how much further it can bring down uh, this audio here so from here all I have to do is click on export and here I'm going to do an exporter um, instead of the, you can also choose the Final Cut Pro export timeline only, but I just want a regular video. So here, as you can see, I have the option to change the original. I can keep it 4K and I can do a pass through, which is going to be fast or her audio only, which I'm not going to do. So let's do just a quick export and I am going to also drop it inside my download. Uh, folder. So this is, I'm going to just call it, this is the Podia video without silence. So this way I am watching two exports happening simultaneously. One is from Descript and the other is from ReCut. By the way, while I was just waiting for this to happen, this export happens so quickly. You can see the file size is at 4.8 gigab gigabyte. And this, by the way, was the fast export. So let's take a look at the quality. Hey guys, this is, I mean, I actually made that maybe pause. Uh, I think the video quality is still quite good. There's no color grade. I am using a 4K camera originally. From there, what I will do is simply uh, import it back to Final Cut Pro. It's felt super relatable. As a result, let me also zoom in on the tracks a little bit so you can see the gaps. You might want to consider that. Number one, the most important reason, you see, you can change the threshold in terms of how closely you want to cut to between the words. You can be very aggressive about it, but the challenge with that is it will also sound kind of unnatural, uh, robotic. So it's really up to you, uh, your tone, the way you are as a creator, especially if you're a camera facing, that sort of thing. So I hope you find this helpful. I would say that, uh, you know, I really like the fact that ReCut is super fast. Let me jump in and describe what I did so far. So I simply imported this video here. So uh, from here, what I can do is eliminate all the ums, ahs, and all the 
uh, dead air, right? So to do that, it's very simple. Go to this gear button here. I'm going to say shorten word gaps. So shorten it to, you know, one second, or actually in this case, you can even change it to half a second. So I'm going to say remove. You see there are 28 word gaps removed. Um, you can also just preview by listening to it. But here, I'm also going to say remove uh, filler words. So things like, uh, um, um, I mean, so there we go. Uh, I'm going to say apply all. So 27 selections. Keep in mind, this video is only like eight minute long. So uh, it did remove quite a bit right there. So it removed a solid minute. Go to file, export and be fair. In this way, uh, I'm just going to export. That's what we need here. So in general, I like Descript a lot, especially for podcast editing. But the export, in this case, videos tend to take a long time. Um, so let me go ahead and at the same time and just check on my Descript export process and see where it is. So, so there's definitely some heavy duty editing going on with Descript. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.